All right, what's going on, guys? It is your boy TKD. One to do here back here in Blazing Source. And a few months ago, at the top of the year in January, we did get the release of the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection for PlayStation 5. This was the updated remasters of Uncharted 4 at Thieves End and Uncharted Lost Legacy in one convenient package that was updated to take advantage of PS5 in terms of dual sense support and different frame rates as well to take use of the PS5 hardware. You can check out my comparison video over here in the top right hand corner but it was a very very cool remaster but overall i feel like i didn't really like push the limits that hard on the games i still feel like they generally looked very identical right it wasn't really a night and day improvement but definitely an improvement nonetheless but here today we do have official details that were released on the playstation blog that does detail the pc specs and different info about the pc versions of this game as well as the release date for the uncharted legacy of these collection that will be dropping on pc in in a few weeks time so without further ado let's get right into them starting off here uncharted legacy of thieves collection for pc will be dropping officially on october 19th on both steam and epic game store however if you pre-order on epic game store you will get access to soli's new sea plane which will be a glider for fortnite to use in game and so uh you can use soli's plane as a glider which hey you know what it looks pretty dope i can't lie it looks pretty cool you know what i'm saying you can check out that and uh, it might be a little bit worth your while to pre-order on Epic Games Store, but they will both be pre-purchased and bought for $50 at launch. It'll be a $50 game, so either way, you're not paying anything more for that. Just a little bit of a bonus incentive to buy on Epic Games Store. Now, going into how this differs from the PS5 counterpart, quote, this version of Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection is optimized for PC with PC-centric quality of life enhancements, such as reimagined UI, skill sliders, GPU and VRAM detection, variable load speed, and so much more that we will get into as well but i'm very curious to see what that reimagined ui looks like i wonder what they mean by that very curious about that but we'll see when the full game comes out but this of course will support 4k native resolutions to take in all the lush environments of madagascar or the scenic views of the indian peninsula on uncharted 4 at thief's end and of course uncharted lost legacy there's also ultra wide monitor support which is the same here for spider and pc we also have that same feature for the uncharted series which is definitely gonna be great to get in all of those scenic views in uncharted definitely gonna be worthwhile for you if you have an ultra wide monitor they also detail things like adjustable texture and model quality and a strophic filtering which generally makes games look more sharper through the modification of textures at a relatively low cost in performance shadows reflections and of course that ambient inclusion which will make lighting and the way lighting react more realistic to real life there's also a little blurb here involving frame rates they say here quote supercharge your frame rates with the next level temporal upscaling solution the amd fidelity fx super resolution 2 fsr2 uses cutting edge temporal algorithms to boost your frame rates and deliver high quality high resolution game experiences in uncharted legacy of thieves collection across a wide range of compatible graphics cards with this much power prepare yourself for some epic photo mode shots the trailer also says that the game will support variable frame rates and everything so that's probably just a given there but once again it's really cool to see that these playstation games are at least taking full advantage of the PC involving these different algorithms and these different features that are definitely beneficial for the PC crowd. But going next here, we do have to talk a little bit about the dual sense support and different control schemes that you'll be able to put on Uncharted the Legacy of Thieves collection for PC. With your dual sense, you will get access to haptic feedback and of course adaptive triggers for the game as well. Along with the game on PC being fully compatible with things like the DualShock 4 controller, a wide array of different game pads, keyboards, and mice to use in the game as well that will also be able to take into account the full control remapping for the games as well as controller icon lock i'm gonna keep it real i tried to scour the internet and look for what controller icon lock meant i can't find this so can you so can y'all down below in the comment section let me know what is controller icon lock i would love to know as well as they have ignore input options as well which i assume are just things where you can set it to not you know even register anything involving this button on the controller i'm assuming that's what they mean by that it is cool to mention
mentioned here that they did detail that you'll be able to have full RGB support for Razer Chroma peripherals and Chroma Link compatibility along with having device compatibility for other brands like Logitech and Corsair as well for this game to be able to utilize that RGB goodness whenever you want to. And the last big thing here I want to lay out here is the spec sheet for Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection so you can have it here on screen, you can decipher however you want it and it looks like you'll be able to do you know 60 frames per second at 4k ultra with the gpus like the 3080 and the amd 6800 16 gigabyte model as well so you'll be able to do all that fun stuff on there and uh yeah it looks like a, it's you know one of the mill uh you know pc spec sheet i'm sure the pc guys will definitely break it down and you know really get in the comment section and tell me uh how is it shaping up how is it looking everything and i will definitely have my boy arachnite on in the future to discuss this uncharted legacy of thieves collection on pc and really guys those are pretty much all the details we have involving the uncharted legacy of Thieves collection on pc definitely go check it out if you guys are into the playstation games on pc and definitely let me know down below are there any features that you wish were here in this game do you wish that it had certain features that i did not talk about here or the blog does not bring up let me know all those thoughts down below in that comment section and also while you are down there make sure you don't forget our description where you can find our discord our twitter and of course our anchor link that you listen to our long form content and podcast what about those of course being the uh, now ending you know road to part one podcast series the finale was just recorded about an hour ago as of me recording this video right here and uh, it will be up on sunday 10 a.m mount center time for the final time for road to part one but fret not Ragnarok is incoming and Road to Ragnarok is indeed coming and in the works. And because we didn't play the PC trailer with the audio and everything, I'll probably have it here at the end of the video for you guys just to listen to and hear and really get the full trailer for you guys in its full glory that they put out today with the PC details. Like to be if you enjoyed it as well as so subscribe to PlayStation Source to keep up with the latest and greatest in PlayStation. Thank you all for watching and as always, greatness awaits. How did you, uh, find me, anyway? Just follow the sound of gunfire. What the hell was that? Oh, you should relax. You'll live longer. I'm gonna scour this island inch by inch until I find that treasure. This is my land! Where could you possibly stand again? Rise up! Ah!